Hey guys, so we've been getting a lot of requests to update some of the tutorials. So here we are with front side 180 2.0. But let me start it out properly because I know there's going to be a lot of comments about this. So let's take it to the very, very, very oldest school of Braille channel. This is what you've all been waiting for. My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today I'm going to teach you how to front side 180. Great, so frontside 180 is one of the most basic tricks. Once you have your writing really down and you've got that and you feel comfortable riding your board, then you've got your ollies down and you feel very comfortable with your ollies, your very next step after that is the frontside 180. Now it is very important that you get your writing down because, you know, it's just the basic, basic, basics. Sometimes people don't ride enough and they just start doing tricks and then they get uncomfortable riding and so then they go to do front side 180 and it, it makes it a lot harder than it really needs to be. The other thing with the front side 180 that you have to think about is you're not only just going to be riding the regular way, like I'm right foot forward, right? But when you flip your feet around, you're going to have to land switch because you are doing a 180. So think with that. So you might want to get comfortable at least riding regular and a little bit of riding switch. Like you don't have to be able to bomb a hill switch or do anything like that. But get comfortable riding switch so that you know that once you pop and land the 180, you're going to at least be able to roll away. So the foot position for the front side 180 is just like this. Your back foot is right on the tail, kind of with your the ball of your foot just like that, right there on the very tip of the tail. And then your front foot is basically kind of close up there to those um, front bolts, but it looks, it looks just like that. So you can see from this shot right there, that's how it's going to be. Very, very similar to the Ollie. Actually, what the front side 180 is, is an Ollie where you turn your head and shoulders and then you turn your feet. Sometimes people make this very, very complicated. And a lot of the skate supports that I get is a person trying to turn their feet and nothing else. They watch people skate and they think, oh, well, the guy just does an ollie and he just turns his feet. But that ends up like this, and that's obviously not working out. As you can see, my, my body nearly twisted in half and I nearly lost my legs. So you don't want that to occur. You, you want to turn actually your head, your shoulders, and your arms, just like I'm doing here, just before, you'll see, you can, you can see in some of these slow motion shots that it's just before, and then I'm gonna pop up with just a regular ollie and then start turning my legs. But if you don't have your upper body turned and then you turn your legs, you're not gonna make it. So you can see right here where I'm holding my arms out and swinging my arms, and then I jump up and then I turn my feet afterwards. How that's different from just trying to turn my feet, which is like pure death. Right? See that? So it's your pop-up just like an ollie, which actually makes this trick very, very easy if that's how you think about it. Just like an ollie, only the upper half of your body is turning. Now your legs can turn. So we'll break this down into all the steps. First, obviously, is just basically the steps of the ollie. That's pop-up, 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 pop-up. Now this step is a little bit different. That's the next step, is you're going to slide your front foot. Slide it, slide it, slide it. But, I know you're thinking that's the same step as the Ollie, true, because it is an Ollie 180, but you're going to add in turning your head and shoulders. Now notice how I kind of time it a little bit just so my head and shoulders turn just before. Now that's, so like I said, as you can see when I was just jumping and turning and doing the 180, it's just like my head and shoulders are already turned, so then when I pop up, my legs can very easily turn. If you're going to get anything out of this basic tutorial, that's the thing I want you to get. Head and shoulders, turn, pop your board, turn your legs. That's the front side 180. That's really, if you want to say there's like a secret for a front side 180, that would be it, you see? So do that. So the pop and slide with the upper body turn, and then basically all you're doing is putting all of that together. And if you have the ollie down, you pretty much already have the majority of this trick down because all you're adding in is your upper body shoulder turn, right? So pop, whew, front side 180. Boom. 
So just as a recap, you're gonna put your front foot just in the ollie position. Your back foot with the ball of the foot is gonna be on the very center of the tail, just like that. You're gonna ride, crouch down, begin popping up as you're turning your head and shoulders. Now your, your board has not hit the ground yet, so you haven't quite popped, but you're coming up and you're turning your head and shoulders to the side, and then you're gonna pop up into the ollie position. Now notice, as I'm popping up, my head and my shoulders are already at about a 90 degree angle. And then my board lifts up in the air, ollie position. And as soon as my board gets up off the ground, my legs start turning. Without my head and shoulders having been already previously turned, my board wouldn't be able to turn like that. Now, I'm gonna bring it down, land with your knees bent, make sure that's very important, have your knees bent, and then compress your legs, bending your knees, roll away switch, and that is the front side 180. This is a great trick to start doing over obstacles because if you really think about it, if you can ollie over the obstacle, then all you have to do from that is actually turn your head and shoulders as you ollie, so you can almost just ollie over it and then having your head and shoulders turned, then turn your legs. Not like a late front side 180, but it's just kind of how you can think about it. So. You just ride up to the obstacle as you're, you're looking at the obstacle the whole time. Pop up. You see, now here's the timing. You can really see on this shot. My head and shoulders are turning. Now my feet come up. As my legs start to turn, as soon as that board gets in the air, the legs start to turn. Now I'm in the center point of the air and my board is sideways. And then I start bringing my landing gear down, putting it down, land and roll away switch. So the front side 180 is a great, great, great basic trick. And a lot of people, you know, they, they want to go, oh, I landed the ollie, now I'm ready for the kickflip. But I'm telling you, if you get these tricks down, ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, front shove, heel flip, kick flip, the kick flip is going to be so much easier and come so much faster. And actually, you're going to just be better at doing it. As long as you have your riding, your very, very most basic riding steps really down, you're gonna have those basics down really well, and then you're gonna be able to beat people in games of skate, because really, if you have those consistent, you can do different variations of those, and you're golden, you got it. So I'm really, really glad to see in the comments that a lot of you guys are learning how to skate. I see a lot of requests for these very basic tutorials. Uh, we have done a lot of them, but it is a good idea to update them, so I think we can just kind of give you some more details, a little bit more information on them. But really, the best, the very, very best way is skateboarding made simple. I know a lot of you guys are pretty new to the channel, and you might not be even sure exactly what skateboarding made simple is. Well, it's a full-length video that I made a couple years ago, it's a full hour long, and the whole idea of it, that it takes you up through every trick. It gives you the exact tricks to do in the exact order, and it gives you all the steps within each trick, so it's just a smooth transition from one trick to the next. I really put my heart and soul into that video, and I really feel it's the best tutorial video I have ever made. So you guys can check that video out right here at BrailleSkateboarding.com. It is available on there as a digital download. It's also available as a DVD. And then we also have it on iTunes for your iPhone. And we have it on Google Play if you have an Android phone. So I tried to make that video available on all the platforms because I really do feel like it is the best way to progress. And when you get those basic tricks down, some of the other tricks, they do come much, much faster. And there is a video for manuals. There is a video for grinds and slides. There's a video for intermediate tricks and advanced tricks. So there's six volumes out right now, and who knows, maybe we're working on more. You never know. So definitely check those out. I'm really glad to see you guys progressing in your skating. We are gonna be making more videos that teach you guys to skate. It is actually the purpose of Braille. We do all kinds of videos, like the Skate Everythings we're having a lot of fun with making, and I want you to think with those being like, we're gonna introduce more people into skating. Because somebody who's maybe never picked up a skateboard before is gonna go, oh, somebody skateboarded on an iPad? Well, that's interesting. They're gonna watch it, and then they're gonna, these guys are having so much fun skateboarding, I wanna try and skateboard. 
and then they're going to find our tutorials and then we're going to teach them to skateboard. Now skateboarding is bigger, we have more skaters, and then we can go all over the world and skate with cool people because skating is the best, right? Skate or die. Thanks a lot for watching. Please leave in your comments below what you guys want to see. If you have any questions, if you have any tricks you're working on, if there's a very specific thing you're having trouble with, we want to make videos to answer your guys' questions. So leave us in the comments below anything you're running into. Please subscribe. Please click that like button. I'll see you next time. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.